Hi everyone, today's topic that will be covered in this presentation is the theory of planned behavior. We will be using Victoria University as an example to demonstrate this theory in practice and also look at strengths and weaknesses. Just graduated from high school or looking to continue learning and gaining valuable knowledge and skills that will be required when joining the workforce. But when looking for jobs, most jobs require the skills, knowledge, and most importantly, look at candidates that have the right qualifications and degree in the field in order to have a better chance at obtaining that particular job position. To get a job, you need to obtain a degree in particular field. To get the degree will require you to join a university that will allow you to reach the desired goal of yours, which is to get the job, and at the same time gain valuable knowledge and expertise in the field. There are always influences that will factor the final decision. It could be things such as getting opinions from friends and family, weighing up options on what's best for you. All these things will definitely influence your final decision making. A good theory that helps with explaining and understanding how decisions are made is called the theory of planned behavior. This theory can also help predict how behavior is formed when making decisions. What is the theory of planned behavior? It consists of three main categories. The first category is the attitudes to behavior. This is based on individuals' beliefs. It can be either positive or negative. The second category is subjective norm. This focuses on everything around the individual surroundings, such as friends, family, and it can affect your decision making. The third category is called control beliefs. This focuses on person's belief and has to do with different presence of factors that can either facilitate or impede performance of behavior. Now we will look at our theory of planned behavior works in practice by using a student as an example and how they decided to join Victoria University. The attitude to behavior in this case looks at individuals whether they want to come to university or not. In this example, we can see the driving factor is to obtain a degree in their work field in order to have a higher chance of getting the job. Now we'll look at subjective norms. This is where decisions are influenced by the individual surroundings. As you can see, the student is communicating with his parents and decision is being influenced by them. Finally, we'll look at control beliefs. This is where it could be either make or break of final decision. Travel distance, too far to travel to university. Or the other major concern is the financial aspect. These are just some examples of factors that may impede performance of behaviors for individuals. Now we'll look at factors that may facilitate performance of behavior. Example would be that a student knows if he puts in the hard work now, he will eventually get his degree and hopefully get closer to obtaining their dream job. Some of the strengths of this theory is it helps with predicting how behaviors formed. Victoria University can use this to predict behaviors of future students looking at joining university. A weakness of this theory is that it's not as reliable as each individual's decision making can be influenced by many different factors. In conclusion, we can see how this theory works in practice, and we know that Victoria University can use this theory to attract potential undergraduate students, but also should take into account that decisions can be influenced by many different factors. And this theory is used to predict behavior, and it is not accurate, so results will vary. Created using Powtoon.